y'all ignorantly chose to follow this man. Kevin Samuels is dead. Let's talk about it. What's going on, Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit Food episode. Today, I hope to help you get closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Hallelujah, amen. We gotta give him all the glory, all the praise, all the honor, because he is truly deserving of it. Man, if you've heard me say countless times in my videos, we live in a generation where everybody has their own truth, and everybody, you know, wants to be able to tell their own truth and it be okay it be pleasing to everybody's ears because you can get a following behind telling your own truth but you know with the death of kevin samuels a lot of people that tuned into his content don't even understand death to the point of understanding it via how it's described in ecclesiastics being there's a time for everything there's a time to be born there's a time to die as people mourn and as people celebrate Today, I want to tell you that in a lifetime, you can choose to follow whoever you want. But all of you guys that tuned in to his teachings and him telling his truth, what did you get out of it? And the main thing I'm pointing out is if you follow somebody, if you ignorantly choose to follow somebody because you don't know any better, you have people like me that's willing to tell you that his teachings weren't gonna get you a, a, a better relationship with God. You see what I'm saying? His teachings of how he graded women on how he preached and made it controversial, this topic of high value. See, out of all this, he made a lot of men feel like they were in a certain category and a lot of men feel like they were below this category. He also made a lot of women feel like they weren't good enough in men's eyes and then he made, you know, a lot of women feel like they were out of the men's, you know, reach that they were dating. And in all of this, man, I have to ask you in you choosing to follow him, you know, he's not the creator of anything other than a YouTube channel, content creator, maybe a book, something like that. But none of his teachings grant blessings. None of his teachings have the power for you to be prosperous in life. But yet you tuned in to see what he was gonna say to make you feel better or to see what trash he was gonna talk to make you angry, to make you upset. See, here is some truth. See, you can live by your truth as you know it, you know, for as long as you want. But when you have done nothing that's pleasing in the eyes of God, here's the answer to a lot of your questions of why you guys tuned in. The reason you gravitated towards Kevin Samuels and other dating coaches like this, because there will be many more that won't focus you on developing your relationship with God first and primarily, see, you guys are looking for an easy way to find love. But when you look at the love described in the Bible, it's not an easy feat. See, you gotta be willing to be obedient to the creator before you can be obedient to anything else. And this is the why a lot of his audience their life, you know what I'm saying? Single people tuned in to celebrate, single people tuned in to mourn, but you didn't get a, a relationship out of it. You didn't do anything that is gonna change your heart. See, a lot of people that tune into content like that, they have a way of reinventing themselves. Let me reinvent myself as high value, or let me reinvent myself as this type of man or this type of woman, but your heart is still the same. Your heart is still cold as ever. Your heart does not know how to love because you don't even acknowledge the love our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has for you. You wanna learn how to love? Be obedient to the Father. Love your brothers and sisters on this earth. See, what people don't realize when you tune into this kind of truth, his, his channel, he had a, a huge following. A lot of it was because people didn't like what he had to say but yet they look to him for answers. If you're gonna follow somebody like that, why aren't you following Jesus on a daily basis? If you think that the fruit from somebody that's a dating coach, that's not preaching and teaching the gospel, what fruit do you think your tree is gonna bear from you trying all of this? See, God is the only one that has the power to evaluate, to grade and do all this stuff. He told a lot of people they were a five, they were a six, they were a seven. 
that's okay. That's his opinion. But in the end, if you live your life according to that, don't be surprised if God tells you you're a two in the end because you're not getting into the kingdom. You're below average in being obedient to his will. And I tell you, man, you choose to ignorantly follow who you want. But this is your public service announcement. You have people like me that's telling you, you can choose all these different people and ain't none of them gonna get you prosperity. None of them gonna get you into the kingdom. None of them gonna get you a relationship with God. None of them is gonna allow you to move according to the Holy Spirit. See, when you're moving according to the Holy Spirit, you can shoot through the BS, but you gotta elevate to such a point to where you accept the truth of our Lord and Savior, where you want your heart to be cleansed, where all of that pain that you've been through in that dating world can be washed clean. But most of you guys only want a shortcut. You know, you wanna be have a single person's mindset today and wanna be married happily tomorrow. And them two things ain't gonna never meet together or work itself out without your obedience to the Most High. Now, anytime somebody dies, it's always a sad thing and people are gonna grieve. But I see everybody out here saying, rest in peace, he's in a better place, all of this stuff. But the only time we really know somebody's resting in peace when we talk about their spirit is by based upon the life that they lived on this earth. If we know they follow the commandments, if they know they love their brothers and sisters, if we know that they were the kind of man or woman that brought peace everywhere they go, the kind of man or woman that brought structure everywhere that they went, then we can say, rest in peace. But a lot of these people that we say this to, we don't have no idea where they're going because we ultimately, we know the kind of lifestyle that they live and what they focused on. As a man or a woman, do you choose to live your life focused on all this other nonsense or focused on God, the one that can get you access to all everything that you want? See, when you focus on God, everything in the kingdom will be added unto you. But until you recognize that, you're going to be trying to waste your life focusing on all this nonsense ignorantly because you don't know better or you want it to be easy. See, the death of Kevin Samuels got millions of people to tune in. But ultimately, how many of you guys on a daily basis want to tune in with God so you can do work that's pleasing to the Father so you can find yourself approved? Quit worrying about are you approved by a man or a woman. That don't have nothing to do with nothing at the end of the day. Because if you're doing what God wants you to do, if you're doing work pleasing to God, in the end, that's what's going to give you peace. That's what's going to give you peace that nobody can take away from you. That's what's going to give you an unexplainable joy. But as long as you focus on all this nonsense, you're going to keep getting the same problems and having no solution in the end. How many of you got a better relationship with God out of following Kevin Samuel? Answer that. But yet you tuned in for all of the nonsense. See, a lot of y'all ignorantly tuned in to brother Kevin Samuels because you didn't know any better. But how many of y'all got a wife out of it? How many of y'all got a husband out of it? See, the reason you don't know how to love is because your heart is empty. You don't know how to give love. You don't know how to receive love. But yet you thought he had all the answers. If you want to tune in to something on a daily basis that's controversial, tune in to the teachings of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ via the scripture, via the gospel, via the Bible, the basic instructions before leaving earth. That's what that word means. But yet we tune in to all this and you've learned nothing. Yet this man is dead in the ground and you still have people that are going to follow his teachings, but he didn't do anything legendary compared to a major God. When you want your life to get in order, you're going to have to put something that's capable of putting your life in order. And the workings of one individual man on this earth after Jesus created in flesh ain't going to do it. See, majority of people that tuned in to that type of content, you see what I'm saying? You deal with loneliness. And the reason, like I said, you're lonely is because your heart is empty. You don't have anything else to fill that void. So there you gravitate towards any and any and everything that sounds good, looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, but at the end doesn't bear any fruit. You see what I'm saying? See, if you're going to follow something, you want to follow something righteous, something pure, something clean, but you're following something unclean. Don't be surprised if your fig tree has olives growing all over it. See, all of my single men that tuned in to Kevin Samuels on a weekly or daily basis one thing you don't realize is you guys were so focused on getting a woman to submit that you didn't even realize or pay any attention to the word and the commandment that you're supposed to submit to God. So see, every part of a wicked man is passed on to his woman. 
that's a scripture right there. To all of my women out there that tuned in on a daily basis to Kevin Samuels, for him to only rate you at what he thought was appropriate. See, you guys weren't even worried about being a godly woman so you could be blessed with a God-fearing man. When you are truly a blade that knows how to sharpen iron according to scripture, you gotta, you gotta weed through all that nonsense. You gotta weed through it. And the main question I have for all of these viewers, who are you gonna choose to follow now? Because if it ain't get you nowhere, chances are if you tune into the next brother or sister who wants to be a dating coach outside of the advice that our Lord and Savior has already deemed necessary to be prosperous, hey, don't be surprised when you don't get anything out of it. See, when you tune in to anything that's not focused on God, I can guarantee you and promise you it's going to be short lived and it's going to be a bad investment. But like many people will ignorantly make the stake, even though you're not gaining anything prosperous, you will continue to invest your time in nonsense and foolishness, just like a dog will return to his own vomit and try to eat it once again. Quit wasting your time with ignorance. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight.